Hello everybody, it's Doug here. In this video, I'll continue with the recent theme of reviewing the design and function of the unique hardware on Brian May's Red Special guitar by taking an in-depth look at the frictionless roller bridge. Brian made all the individual components of this assembly by hand, including the cylindrical saddles with their intricate axles. I'll also discuss the fixings and shims used to install it and set the desired string action. To illustrate the discussion, I'll show you two professionally engineered assemblies with different interpretations of Brian's original design, and I'll compare these with the one I made in January 2022 for a brief time-lapse video with no commentary. My YouTube videos cover a wide range of topics related to Brian May's musical equipment, and further information on all my projects is available on my website, dsgb.net. Please support my work by liking, commenting and subscribing here on YouTube and follow me on social media platforms including Facebook, Instagram and Pinterest. The roller bridge on the Red Special is made from six aluminium blocks and has suffered significant wear and tear through decades of sixpence impact which makes understanding the as-built form and dimensions somewhat challenging. I'll talk through the numbers after this general overview. The block heights are staggered to follow the 7 and a quarter inch neck radius to a good approximation and have five semi-cylindrical slots to allow intonation adjustment. The strings sit in a circumferential groove milled into each cylindrical steel saddle, which themselves locate in the intonation slots via a fixed axle. The bridge pieces are secured to the guitar body with six BA, that's British Association, slotted cheesehead machine screws into brass Hank rivet bushings, which act as a threaded insert. Height adjustment is via slotted rectangular shims, which are made from brass and phenolic resin sheet, and these sit on top of a section of the black acrylic, which is separate from the main pickguard. Due to the small metal-to-metal -metal contact areas of the string on the roller saddle and the saddle axles in the intonation grooves, the assembly is inherently low friction as designed and doesn't require any lubrication. In fact, lubricants should be avoided because they will harbour dust and metal fines over time, which will increase friction in the system. It is tempting to apply a small amount of grease to prevent the roller saddle dropping out and becoming lost if a string is broken, especially during a performance. By all means do this, but be aware that it compromises smooth operation to avoid an occasional problem. If this is a significant issue for you, it's worth looking for an aftermarket design with captive rollers that could be modified to fit your Red Special guitar. I'll show you two designs with captive rollers later in this video. Brian's original design sketches show a width of 2.6 inches or 66 millimeters, although it isn't clear to me why this would be a decimal fraction. The most straightforward option would be to have made all six blocks 7 16 inches wide, so the total width is 2 and 5 8 inch, or 66.7 millimetres. However, the outer blocks have angled faces with a wider base and narrower top, so four inner blocks at 13 over 32 inches, or 10.3 millimetres wide, and two outer blocks of a half inch, or 12.7 millimetres wide, would accommodate this. Most versions I see adopt these dimensions with slight variations. Individual block heights with increments of 1 over 32 inches, that is 11 over 32 inch or 8.7 millimetres, 5 16 of an inch or just under 8 millimetres, and a 9 over 32 inch or just over 7 millimetres, follow the 7 and a quarter inch neck radius to a good approximation. The saddle rebate is likely 13 over 64 inch, just over 5 millimetres wide, since it accommodates a 6BA bolt head, which is 0.193 inches or 4.9 millimetres wide. The 6BA machine screw head is 5 over 64 inches, 2 millimetres deep. It is of the cheese head style rather than countersunk. The roller saddles themselves consist of 1 8 inch 3.2 millimetre diameter steel cylinders with a central groove in which the string sits and have 1 over 32 inch or 0.8 millimetre axles protruding from either side between 9 and 9.5 9 millimetres total width. In modern assemblies, these are turned from stainless steel. I have seen one design which had a central hole in the cylinder, and the axles were formed from sections of steel wire. This seems like a good option if you fancy making your own. The string spacing quoted in the Red Special book specifications page is 51.5mm, which is a 32nd of an inch over 2 inches, which seems illogical. However, I believe that Brian and Harold wished to achieve a simple 2 inch string spacing at the bridge, but because they were working in imperial measurements, they simply rounded up to the next highest imperial measurement that was divisible by 5, because there are 5 spaces between the 6 strings. 
Expressed in 60 fourths, 2 inches is 128 over 64, but the next highest imperial measurement that is divisible by 5 is 130 over 64, or 2 and 1 32nd of an inch. Rather than working in fifths of inches, which imperial measuring instruments, rulers and calipers, don't indicate, they simply added 1 over 32 of an inch to make the numbers divide equally by 5 and still be in regular imperial divisions. 2 and 1 32nd of an inch divided by 5 is 13 over 32 inch, or 10.3 millimetres. The other example on the red special of rounding up by 1 and a 32nd of an inch to make the divide by 5 math work in imperial dimensions is at the Bakelite string guide, which is 1 and 13 over 16th of an inch, or 29 over 16th of an inch as a vulgar fraction. Subtracting 2 times 1 8th of an inch for the outer E string distances from the fretboard edge leaves 25 over 16th of an inch, which divides by 5 to leave the string spacing of 5 16th of an inch, or just under 8 millimetres. Throughout this video, you've seen the bridge assembly from the RS Mods Relic hardware kit, and the one fitted to the original run of 50 Guyton Red Special replicas, so let's compare and contrast these two assemblies with the one I made in January 22, using my CNC machine to mill the blocks from a section of aluminium bar. I designed my bridge to the dimensions I referred to earlier, so 2 and 5 8 inch wide by approximately 19 over 32 inch, with block heights incrementing by 1 over 32 inch. I prefer the aesthetic of the rounded over edges, so I based my design on the Guyton bridge. I milled the roller axle grooves with a 0.8mm ball end cutter to half depth, as I understand the original red special is. I then dressed the surface with 2000 grit wet and dry abrasive paper, then polished it to remove fine scratches. The end result is better than I could have reasonably expected, the only unsatisfactory element is some pitting on the sides due to cutter vibration, but thankfully this will be hidden when the bridge is installed on a guitar. If you have watched my previous two videos featuring the Red Special Tremolo system, you will have seen the RS Mods Relic hardware kit, which is made in the UK. I'll now install it on my guitar while I talk through its key features. Firstly, I place the free section of acrylic pickguard in position, and centre it using two strips of plastic shim material, which are between 0.5 and 0.6mm thick. This RS Mods Relic hardware kit features a roller bridge that conforms to the as-built specification and so has angled sides and none of the edges are rounded over. The fasteners are all 6BA and 6 Hank rivet bushings are included, as are a selection of brass shim plates of different thicknesses. The ones I'm fitting here are actually from my Red Special guitar, not the kit. Just to note also that the custom-made brass threaded inserts fitted to my guitar have a metric M3 thread so I'm using M3 stainless steel machine screws to fix the RS Mods roller bridge to my guitar. The roller axles are a tight interference fit in the milled grooves, so the risk of losing a roller if a string breaks is eliminated. Now let's take the opportunity to review some other interpretations of Brian's original design, one by Greg Fryer dating back to 1996, and one by Nigel Knight of Knight Audio Technologies from 2014. Greg Fryer conceived an elegant two-section bridge block design with captive rollers for his Red Special replicas. This assembly has seven individually detachable mounting pieces, each with five intonation slots for the captive roller axle. The design drawing, published by Greg on his Fryer Guitars website, doesn't specify all the details, so I've had to infer some aspects to work up these 3D CAD renders. The upper section parts appear to be secured by two small metric cap screws, possibly M1.6. The base appears to be secured to the guitar body using either countersunk wood screws or possibly M3 machine screws into threaded inserts. In 2014, Nigel Knight of Knight Audio Technologies carried out a conversion project on a Burns Special commercial Red Special replica. The scope of work included upgrading the stock Trisonic pickups and fitting authentic hardware including a tremolo system and a hybrid design roller bridge. The bridge has a custom milled aluminium base which sets the height stagger for the six individual captive roller elements. These are sourced from a commercially available Wilkinson roller bridge. Well that's all for this video on the Brian May Red Special Roller Bridge. I hope that you've gleaned some insights on the original installation made by Brian, and maybe some ideas for your own guitar build or your hardware upgrade projects.